can only eat that ice cream if I clean the toilet because we need some therapy after we clean the toilet. Am I right? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you had the opportunity to check out my first few videos, I am so grateful. And if you also had the chance to check out my blog, read my blog, add me on Instagram, send me a message, I am also equally thankful. Today I wanted to talk to you about habit formation in successful homemaking. Like I stated in one of my first few videos, you cannot get to the love part of homemaking without the practical part of homemaking. So today, that's what we're going to start talking about. You cannot implement those systems of organization, those grocery list routines, without forming successful habits. If you want to be a successful and efficient homemaker, you have to see it as a job. And when we have a job, we tend to have habits of things that we do on a daily basis, things that become automatic, things that become part of our daily routine. There is a lot of useful information like organization, cleaning tips, schedules, cooking recipes that I want to share with you, but you cannot start to implement those. They will surely fail if you don't get into the right mindset. Some of the things that I'm going to tell you might seem a little bit straightforward, but it always helps to have a coach. It always helps to have somebody on your side telling you those things and not just what you hear in your head. To provide you with more of a background about why I am starting with this video about habits is because when I began my journey to becoming a successful homemaker, like I stated in my first, my second video, I was not organized, I had zero patience, and I just wanted to get to that end step. It was so difficult for me to begin the habits and to get into that way of thinking. The reason why so many of us struggle with homemaking and getting a handle on our house is because we are continuously depleting our willpower. Think of willpower like your own personal battery. Some people have big batteries and some people have small batteries, but when we exert willpower throughout our day, we are all depleting our own battery. When you are continuously exerting willpower, whether it is dealing with your children, dealing with other people in your family, dealing with your work, or whatever other obligations you have, you are operating from that sense of willpower. And so when it comes around time to take care of your home, if you are operating from that same place of willpower and your battery has already been depleted by other things in your life, it will be impossible for you to get a handle on all of that housework. So today I wanted to talk to you about how you can begin to form habits that will help you become a successful homemaker. To help you operate not from that space of willpower, but from that instinctual habit type of living. The first way I want you to do that is to start to implement affirmations in your daily life. So I thought that affirmations <laughs> were the strangest thing that I've ever heard. I am not one to look in a mirror and say, you are beautiful and you are smart. But I tried this with homemaking and I'm telling you, I also tried this with school and when I had a different job. <laughs> and let me tell you that it works. A few affirmations that you can use are the following. I am a professional homemaker. That sounds completely silly, and even if you do have a job apart from homemaking, when you tell yourself that you are a professional homemaker, you set the bar to a higher standard. You tell yourself that you are a professional cleaning person, or Martha Stewart, or whatever your obligations for homemaking have to do, you are setting that expectation for yourself. Another affirmation would be, I am the kind of woman, or I am the type of woman who and you can insert into that blank whatever you need to work on for your homemaking skills. So I, for example, I am the type of woman who perpetually has a clean home. I am the type of woman who cooks delicious dinners every single night. I am the type of woman who creates a cozy and inviting home that it acts like a magnet for all of her friends and family members. If you're skeptical about this, I encourage you to try. Just do it for a few days, give it a week, and I'm telling you that it will help you and it will make a difference. Because when you are continuously 
affirming those things. You don't have to look at yourself in the mirror to do this, but when you are continuously affirming those things, you are putting it at the forefront of your mind and it becomes a priority instinctually. And then the actions associated with that belief will become habits over time. Speaking of time, I want you to be gentle with yourself and give yourself some time to acquire those homemaking skills. So it takes approximately 21 days to form a habit. Think two to three weeks if that's easier because counting the days sometimes might be a little bit difficult. <laughs> so it takes approximately 21 days to form a habit. So be gentle with yourself. Give yourself the time. Be forgiving if you fall into that negative way of neglecting your home. Now associated with time, I also want to encourage you to perhaps start forming these habits if you are a woman in the follicular phase of your cycle. <laughs> that sounds very odd, but that is the phase of your cycle where you will have the most energy, the most drive to get things done and it will be easier for you to kick that negative habit and replace it with a positive habit. It will be easier for you to do the first week of that 21 day stretch in the follicular phase of your cycle. Off the topic of giving grace to yourself and giving yourself time, I want you to take it one habit at a time. Versus if you have many habits that you're trying to implement at one time, you might lack the motivation and you might just give up and say, what's the point? Back to our topic of willpower, if you are trying to implement more than one habit at a time, you will fail. You might be able to keep this up for a few days, but over time it will get a little bit difficult because you are depleting your battery in addition to everything else going on in your life. So it just takes one bad day for everything to get to crumble apart versus if you take one habit at a time and you have one bad day or one bad moment, it's easier to get back on that horse and start anew. The next tip that I want to offer to you is to follow people who do better. You need to continuously motivate yourself and following people that you can look up to, following people that perhaps do it a little bit extreme but serve as some motivation is definitely going to help you continuously feed that affirmation and continuously believe in yourself and give yourself that virtual coach push that I'm trying to give you right now. Almost near the end. Another tip that I want to give to you is to follow your train of thought as to why you don't like to home make or you don't like to take care of that particular thing in your home. For example, if you find yourself saying, I don't like to clean, ask yourself, why? Why don't I like to clean? Okay, follow that train of thought. I don't like to clean because my house is continuously dirty. Why is my house continuously dirty? My house is continuously dirty because I have three dogs. Why do the dogs make your house continuously dirty? Because they come in with their muddy paws every single time I let them outside, but I have to let them outside because they need to pee. Hmm, so why are their paws dirty? Because there's mud outside. Well, there's nothing that I can do about the mud outside, but perhaps I can put some towels by my door and I can create a squirt bottle and wash their paws every time they come in. Get into the habit of questioning every negative thought and every negative feeling that you have towards homemaking and this will help you get to the root cause of what is creating that feeling and what is the problem. Now the last tip that I want to offer you is I want to tell you to have some fun when you are doing the mundane tasks that need to be done around your home. So perhaps you can create some rewards over time to help reinforce that positive habit. So there is a special podcast that I like to listen to, but I will only let myself listen to it while I am vacuuming and washing my floors. For example, you could also do, you could also say, mm, there is only a certain book that I will allow myself to read while my load of laundry is in the washer or in the dryer. You could also give yourself the reward um, of doing something afterward. So I can only eat that ice cream if I, clean the toilet because we need some therapy after we clean the toilet. Am I right? And that's that for today's video. So please, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram and my blog. I will continuously be posting new video content every single week and I would love for you to join me on this journey.